This venomous spider is invading America and making itself quite comfortable. In the world of nature, stories of invasion and adaptation constantly unfold. These tales are often filled with unexpected twists and turns, showcasing the resilience and adaptability of various species. One such captivating story involves the Joro spider, a large, colorful arachnid, originally from East Asia. Known for its vibrant hues and intricate web designs, the Joro spider has become a subject of fascination and study. First discovered in the United States in 2013, the Joro spider has quickly captured the attention of scientists and the public alike. Its sudden appearance has sparked curiosity and concern, leading to numerous studies and discussions. The Joro spider with its striking yellow, black, and blue markings is hard to miss. These vivid colors not only make it a visual marvel, but also play a role in its survival and interaction with other species. Its arrival in North America has raised many questions about its potential impact on local ecosystems and its ability to thrive in a new environment. Researchers are keen to understand how this newcomer will interact with native species and what changes it might bring. This video will delve into the fascinating world of the Joro spider, exploring its origins, its spread across continents, and its remarkable adaptations. We will trace its journey from East Asia to North America, examining the factors that facilitated its spread. We will unravel the mysteries of its mating rituals and address the concerns surrounding its venomous nature. Understanding these aspects is crucial for assessing the potential risks and benefits of its presence in new habitats. Join us as we embark on a journey to understand this intriguing creature and its place in the ever-changing tapestry of life on Earth. Through this exploration, we hope to shed light on the delicate balance of ecosystems and the role of invasive species in shaping our natural world. The Joro spider, scientifically known as Nephila clavata, is native to East Asian countries such as Japan, China, Korea, and Taiwan. In these regions, it is a common sight. Its large webs often found in gardens, forests, and urban areas. So, how did this Asian spider make its way to the Americas? While the exact route remains uncertain, scientists believe that the Joro spider likely arrived accidentally through human activity. One prevailing theory suggests that it may have hitched a ride on shipping containers or cargo, crossing the Pacific Ocean unnoticed. The first confirmed sighting of a Joro spider in North America occurred in 2013 in Hoshton, Georgia. Since then, this invasive species has rapidly expanded its range, becoming established in several southeastern states, including South Carolina, North Carolina, and Tennessee. The Joro spider's ability to spread rapidly across vast distances lies in its remarkable dispersal mechanism ballooning. This fascinating behavior, common to many spider species, allows these tiny creatures to travel using air currents. Joro spiderlings, shortly after hatching, climb to elevated positions and release long strands of silk known as gossamer. These silken threads catch the wind, carrying the spiderlings aloft like miniature kites. This aerial dispersal method allows Joro spiders to cover significant distances, sometimes hundreds of miles, and reach new territories. While most ballooning journeys are relatively short, some spiders have been known to travel impressive distances, even crossing oceans. The success of Joro spiders in colonizing new areas is not solely due to their ballooning abilities. Several other factors contribute to their impressive dispersal capabilities. One crucial factor is their high reproductive rate. Female Joro spiders can produce egg sacs containing hundreds of eggs, ensuring a large number of potential colonizers. This reproductive prowess, combined with their ability to disperse widely, allows Joro spiders to establish populations in new environments rapidly. Another factor contributing to their success is their adaptability to various habitats. Joro spiders are not picky about their surroundings and can thrive in diverse environments, from forests and gardens to urban areas and agricultural lands. Joro spiders in new environments. The arrival of Joro spiders in North America has raised concerns about their potential impact on native species and ecosystems. As with any invasive species, there is always a risk of competition for resources and displacement of native fauna. However, it is still too early to determine the long-term ecological consequences of the Joro spider's invasion. Scientists are actively studying their interactions with native insects and other spider species to assess their potential impact. 
Some researchers believe that Joro spiders could have a positive ecological impact by controlling populations of harmful insects, such as mosquitoes and agricultural pests. Their large webs can capture significant numbers of flying insects, potentially reducing the need for pesticides. Joro spiders are known for their impressive webs, which are among the largest woven by any orb weaver spider species. These spiders, native to East Asia, have now spread to other parts of the world, including the southeastern United States. Their webs are not only large but also incredibly intricate, showcasing the remarkable engineering skills of these arachnids. These webs can reach up to 10 feet in diameter and are characterized by their intricate three-dimensional structure. This unique design allows the web to cover more area and increases its chances of capturing prey. The three-dimensional aspect of the web also provides additional strength and stability, making it a formidable trap for unsuspecting insects. Unlike the webs of many other orb weavers, which are typically built horizontally, Joro spider webs often have a distinctive golden hue, thought to be caused by a yellow pigment in their silk. This golden color is not just for show, it plays a crucial role in the spider's survival strategy. This golden color may serve multiple purposes, such as attracting prey or camouflaging the web against certain backgrounds. The golden hue can reflect sunlight in a way that makes the web less visible to both prey and predators, increasing the spider's chances of a successful catch. The complex structure of Joro spider webs, with their multiple layers and support strands, makes them remarkably strong and resilient. These webs are designed to withstand various environmental conditions, from strong winds to heavy rain, ensuring that the spider's trap remains effective. These webs are capable of withstanding considerable weight and can even trap small birds or bats on occasion. The strength of the silk, combined with the web's intricate design, makes it one of the most effective natural traps in the animal kingdom. This remarkable feat of nature highlights the incredible adaptability and ingenuity of the Yoro spider. One of the most remarkable aspects of the Yoro spider's invasion is its ability to adapt to the climate of the southeastern United States. This region, known for its hot, humid summers and relatively mild winters, presents a unique set of challenges for any species not native to it. Despite originating from regions with milder winters, these spiders have shown a surprising tolerance for colder temperatures. This resilience is particularly noteworthy because it allows them to expand their range far beyond what scientists initially predicted. Researchers believe that Joro spiders may be able to survive freezing temperatures by producing an antifreeze compound in their bodies, similar to some insect species. This compound prevents ice crystals from forming in their tissues, which would otherwise be lethal. This adaptation allows them to withstand the occasional frost and survive in regions where they were once thought to be incapable of living. It's a fascinating example of how nature finds a way to persist, even in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds. The Yoro spider's adaptability, combined with its other survival strategies, suggests that this invasive species is likely here to stay. Their ability to thrive in diverse environments makes them a formidable presence in their new habitats. As scientists continue to study its behavior and ecological impact, we can gain a better understanding of how to coexist with this fascinating newcomer. By learning more about their life cycle, feeding habits, and interactions with native species, we can develop strategies to manage their population and mitigate any negative effects on local ecosystems. The mating rituals of Joro spiders are as fascinating as their dispersal mechanisms and web building skills. Like many spider species, Joro spiders exhibit sexual dimorphism, meaning that males and females differ significantly in size and appearance. Male Joro spiders are much smaller than their female counterparts, often measuring only a fraction of their size. They are also less colorful, with a more subdued brown or tan coloration. During mating season, male Joro spiders embark on a perilous quest to find a mate. Once a male locates a female's web, he must approach cautiously to avoid being mistaken for prey. He will typically vibrate the web in a specific pattern, signaling his intentions to the female. While Joro spider bites are venomous, they are not dangerous to humans or pets. These spiders will only bite if they feel threatened. The Georgia Department of Agriculture states that their venom is similar to other orb weaver spiders, causing no significant harm to humans. Any bite might result in minor redness and swelling, similar to a bee sting. 
So what should you do if you spot a Joro spider or any other common household spider? Instead of killing this invasive species, be curious about them. Check on it every few days. Show your children. They're fascinating to observe. If you want to see them in action, toss an insect into the web. Remember, don't kill spiders or any other creatures without a good reason. We all have a role to play in the ecosystem. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more nature insights.